Hello everyone, welcome to A plus PI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an equation with z, zi and z bar. There's also one in the equation, we didn't mention it, but we're going to solve this equation. So I'll be presenting two methods and let's talk about some basics. If you haven't seen lecture videos, go ahead and check them out, especially if you're new to complex numbers. We talk about so many things, including the conjugate of a complex number, multiplication, addition, so on and so forth. All right, so I'll be presenting two methods, like I said earlier, but let's go talk about the basics first. So Z can be written as A plus PI in standard form. In that case, Z bar would be the complex conjugate, which is or which can be defined as the complex number that multiplies or adds to z and always produces a real answer and that's unique and that will be a minus bi in other words you just change the imaginary part of our complex number if you multiply these notice that you get a squared plus b squared which is real if you add them bi cancels out and you get 2a again that's a real number because a and b are real numbers by definition okay great so now with the first method we're going to do the following we're going to come up with another equation from this hocus pocus abracadabra or mathematic, right? So here's what's really cool about complex numbers. Sometimes they give you a single equation, but without doing anything, well, doing a little bit of something, you get a different equation. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to conjugate both sides. But let's talk about some rules first. If you take two complex numbers like Z and W and multiply them and then conjugate the product. What do you get? You get the product of the conjugates. Great. And this rule also applies to a sum. And that's just awesome because we're going to use these properties in our equation. Make sense? Okay. Let's go ahead and check it out. And you can kind of discuss why these rules work because first of all, for addition, I think addition is a little easier. Think about it. The conjugacy or conjugation is basically done on the imaginary part. So if you negate both imaginary parts that means you're negating the sum of the imaginary parts make i hope that makes sense i don't know that, that sounds confusing anyways you can prove these easily by setting z equals a plus bi and uh oh what's going on w equals c plus di makes sense okay the proof is left to the reader something that you would hate right so Let's go ahead and conjugate both sides. So this is what I mean. I have z plus zi plus 1 equals z bar. And I'm going to bar both sides. Put a huge bar on the left-hand side and then put a little one on the right. So when you conjugate the sum, remember, it's going to be the conjugate of each of these. But conjugate, conjugate of 1 is just 1 because 1 is a real number. And real numbers have their themselves as conjugates. And if you bar z twice, it's kind of like flipping something twice, hopefully, like reciprocal. You're going to get z. Great, let's go ahead and simplify this further. Uh, we're going to use the product rule. This is z bar. i bar is just negative i because it doesn't have a real part, right? So it's just going to change the sign for the, what's it called? The imaginary part, which is just imaginary, plus 1, and that's equal to z because we just changed it, right? Great, let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. Z bar minus Z bar I plus 1 equals Z. And finally, I can factor out Z bar and write it as 1 minus I plus 1 equals Z. Now is the time to use substitution because where's my other equation, right? Where's the original one? Let's go ahead and write it down. Z plus Z I plus 1 equals Z bar. So this was my original equation. Now I got a system from a single equation. And isn't that awesome? Let's go ahead and check it out. Now. We're going to do the following. Since z bar has a nice expression from the second equation, I'm going to replace the z bar in the first equation with that. Isn't that cool? Substitution seems easier. You can also use elimination. doesn't matter. But I like substitution in this case better. So if you replace, I'm going to write 1 minus i first, z bar with z plus z i plus 1. And then, of course, you have to add 1. And that should give you z from the first equation right make sense this is our equation we're going to go ahead and simplify this and solve for z that's going to be our first method all right let's do it 
When you distribute 1, it's going to be the same thing, z plus zi plus 1. When you distribute minus i minus zi minus zi squared plus z, because i squared is negative 1, remember that, minus i plus 1 equals z. Something interesting happens, a couple things. z cancels out, zi cancels out. Uh-oh, everything cancels out? No. 1 plus 1 is 2, and that's going to, let's put it on the right-hand side. z is going to be negative 2 plus i. So we put these on the right-hand side. We negated them, right? Great, so what is this? We got the answer. Yes, that would be the solution. We were looking for z and we found it. Yay, awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So again, our equation is z plus zi plus 1 equals z bar, which is the complex conjugate of z again. So with my second method, I'm going to use the name of this channel. What's the name of this channel? If you said a plus bi, you got it. Good job. Now we're going to set z equal to a plus bi. Let's do it everywhere. And again, here if you want to factor out a z and write it as z times 1 plus i, that's perfectly fine. No big deal. But remember from here, z bar is going to be a minus bi. So just change the imaginary part of the complex number to get the conjugate. Pretty easy, right? Okay, now what do we do? We replace z with a plus bi and replace z bar with a minus bi and solve for a and b. Again, this single equation is going to give us two equations. Why? Because we're dealing with something awesome called complex numbers. All right, so let's go ahead and distribute. a plus ai plus bi plus bi squared, which is minus b, plus 1 equals a minus bi. Let's go ahead and put together the real parts on the left. a minus b plus 1 plus a plus b. I, I didn't have to use parentheses. I just wanted to emphasize the fact that the real parts and imaginary parts are separated. Alrighty? Now, here's what we get. This is the real part. That's the real part. So this is equal to a. This is the real part. That's the, I mean, imaginary part. This is the imaginary part. So this is equal to negative b. This gives us two equations. Awesome. Let's go ahead and work with the first one first. a minus b plus 1 is equal to a. Yay. a cancels out. We get b equals 1. Okay, awesome. So b is equal to 1. That's going to be helpful. And the second one gives us a plus b equals negative b. And a, this, this means a is equal to negative 2b or not 2b. Yes, I was able to make that joke. And since b is equal to 1, a is going to be negative 2. But what is that supposed to mean? a is negative 2, b is 1, and z is a plus bi. So z is negative 2 plus i. Make sense? So we got the same answer. Of course, that would not be a surprise because we're looking, we're doing the same problem. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.